Okay, now over to Mark in the Mastercraft Kitchen, and you are baking cookies today, Mark. Yep, we are baking cookies. It's a really easy, simple recipe, but many, many options involved in this recipe because you can add any flavours you want. So we're going to make a normal base with all these ingredients, and then we've got chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, caramel, uh, fruit, cherries, everything, spices, and really, it's, um, it's down to your own um, imagination on where you can take cookies. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later. Um, and we'll even get the guys in as well to uh, create their own uh, um, flavours in the cookies. Yeah. But pretty much, first job we're going to do with cookies is you need to have soft butter. And then, so it's a little bit of a preparation involved, so have all your ingredients, get some butter, and this has just been out for a couple of hours, but you can see it's still a little bit hard in the center, so it just needed to be taken out a little bit earlier, but no worries, because we can just put it in a bowl and just work it a little bit before we get the recipe done. So I'm just going to keep mixing this just until all the butter's nice and soft, and then we're going to come back a little bit later, and I'm going to show you how to make this quick, easy dough, and then we are going to flavor it with heaps of different flavors. So that's the exciting part. And this is a great recipe for the kids as well, especially on school holidays. And today, Mark, you've outdone yourself because this looks incredible. We're talking cookies today. Well, that's it, you know. Men's Health Week, so you've been really good um, all week. So there's a little treat for you now. Nice. Cookies. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the only one. Way. Only one treat. And this is one you're making yourself. So this is a really easy way to get the flavours that you want so you can control your cookies. Um, what have you done? You've softened your butter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the butter has been softened and, uh, and we've just beaten in the, um, the sugar. Right, brown little, sugar. Brown sugar. A little bit of um, vanilla in there. Mm -hmm. You and then we're, gonna, then we're going to start putting the eggs in. So if you want to crack those eggs in. Oh, OK, sweet. We've got to do some work today. OK, sweet. It's a team effort. I learned how to crack eggs properly. Can you crack an egg with one hand? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no if, you, if you want shells, then I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> OK, because I always used to bang the eggs on the side of the bowl. And that yep. apparently is a no-no. Apparently it's easier if you smash them on something flat. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the expert. You're the expert. You tell me, is that right or wrong? I do it on the side of the bowl. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Just well. thought it's all about technique. Uh, one-handed. Yeah, and one-handed. Uh, okay. yeah. Well, there's a skill yeah. I haven't learned yet. Right. So we've got the so the butter and, and um, uh, sugar Egg. is creamed. We've got mm -hmm. the eggs in there now. Right. So now we can sort of fold in the flour and all the dry ingredients. And what sort of consistency are we looking for? So we're just mixing it together. So you just, you know, you don't need to cream it. We're just mixing it. Okay. If you look at it now, so it's sort of nice and wet. Um, sometimes it looks split, um, but just keep going with it and mix it all in. It'll all come back. It'll all be good. And there's a little tip for you now. Like if your cookie dough is a little bit dry, you can just add a splash of milk. Okay. Just to get it in. All right. So we'll pop everything in, and then we'll bring it to a dough. Okay. So what do you add? Then in what was that? Uh, so baking powder and baking soda, and a little bit of cocoa powder. Yeah. So if you don't want it like too chocolatey, um, you don't need to put the cocoa powder in now. Oh no, but we like it chocolatey. So we do like good. it chocolatey, yeah. and we've got lots of chocolate selection here. Nice. Right, so we're just going to make this dough, bring it all together, and then we've got all these ingredients where we're going to flavour it to, you know, a personal, customised cookie. So once you've got your base, pretty easy. You just start adding in the flavours that you enjoy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm going to split this dough now. I'm going to give you a bowl. Yeah. And then you can make your own cookie, and we'll get Mel over as well, and then she can make her own cookie, and then we'll taste them at the end of the show and see, see who's the best. best. Oh, it's a challenge. Yes! <laughs> and maybe we'll have a public vote as well. Right. My cookies bring everyone to the yard, so I'm sure <laughs> I will win this. <laughs> All right, so we've, we've got our doughs here. Right. Start going. OK, you cool. Know, I'm just going to wash my hands. There's, there's no limits now. OK. Right, so I am going to... I'm going to get a little peanut butter here, so I'm going to pop a little bit of that in, just to give it a nice sort of creamy, nutty flavour. Mmm, where to what start? You do, Mike? I don't know, I'm going to start with some cherries, actually. So I might just chop these in half, is that alright? Can I chop them in half? If you want, I'm just going to use the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to put some sheep poo in mine. <laughs> oh, you're this good. Sounds, this sounds really good. From seriously good chocolate. Cherries. And I'm going to go white chocolate, cherry and uh, white chocolate. Oh, very nice. What do I mix it with? A spoon. A spoon. OK. <laughs> so a little bit of chocolate in there. And it's not real sheep poo. It's actually boysenberries coated in chocolate, ah. freeze-dried. Look at that. Ooh, Fantastic flavour. So I'm just going to chop that up. 
Oh, this is so tempting. What else? I, I just might use everything before you get your hands. Oh, no, yeah. All you right. know, the key ingredient is not to overcomplicate it. Okay. But it's hard when you're making cookies. So I'm going to put some spice in it now. Yeah. So there's a little bit of all spice. Just give it a bit of extra flavour. Chinese five spice works really well with chocolate. There's a little tip for you at home. One to try. Okay. Right, and uh, let's get some chocolate in there. So a bit of milk chocolate in there. And I'm going to put some white chocolate in there as well. Oh, okay. Well, you put heaps in, so I'm going to add some more. Yeah, I'm going to get some more in there. Okay. And... And I'm going to put some almonds in there. Oh, we should I put some <laughs> caramel in it. Caramel cherries and white chocolate, I reckon. Oh, you could put a little bit on. And then, and the beauty with this is we can put some more on after. Okay, so you can, I can just scoop it in? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. cool. Okay, and then <laughs> we are going to have the best cookies in town. Now let's head over to Mark, who is finishing up the cookies. Yeah, that's right. All the cookies are cooked. They're out on the plate. There's Mike's at the front. Mel's. I just like to garnish mine with a bit of caramel <laughs> and some extra chocolate. Oh. Make it oh. nice. Hey, it's Here all you go, in guys. the taste. It is all in the taste. And it's Mel, our cameraman's 60th birthday today. So, Mel, you get the honour of tasting and choosing a winner, OK? It's burnt. <laughs> burnt my cookies. I do look. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Try, those, try this one first, Mel. Okay. okay. This, Mark, this looks delicious. It's fantastic. OK, well, I shall <laughs> say a big thank you to all of our guests. You just taste on the show. Uh, if you missed anything, you can always catch up on 3Now or you can go to our website, thecafe.co. Thank you.